about how I use my winch and how I set it up on top of my uh, headache rack over there. Um, I've got this extension cord that I used. And then I just have these simple little alligator clips. I'm not putting it under super duper strain, but yes, it is a little bit strainful on it. But I just put these clips right here like this. Make sure they're connected. The extension cord runs over to here. I cut the end off the extension cord to put those on there. Well, I use the other end right here. So now I just plug these together. This is all wired together right there. The fuse is right there. And then uh, the winch is mounted up here on top. And that sits like that. Now the winch comes down. I'm still gonna do a different way. I'm gonna put a hook on the bottom so I don't have to keep putting this strap on there. But for now, I've got the strap on there with a snatch block and a D-ring. <clears throat> like I said, I'm gonna lighten that up. I'm probably just going to put a double hook right there. That way I can just bring it down, hook it, and pull it up. But this is just way too steep for me to want to drive up it. So this makes it a whole lot easier to be able to bring it up. It's very little stress. Now, I still haven't, I, I didn't have time. I'm going to put some, uh, some gussets right here at the bottom. Uh, I want to reinforce this just a little bit more than what it is. I'll probably go ahead and tie this in to the headache rack more. And uh, that'll help to beefen that up because this flex just a little bit with the snatch block. Now, without the snatch block just straight hooked up, it, it, it doesn't like it at all. So that's the way that works right there. Now let's see if I can do all, this all at once. See, now all I'm using is my Harbor Freight winch with my remote, and I can just pull this up. The reason I'm doing it this way, some people were like, well, why don't you mount this down there? Well, I kind of thought about that. If I did mount it down here, then this cable would end up rubbing right here as it pulled over the deck, unless I put a roller on it. But I don't have that, so the snatch block allows the top to be able to pull as it's rolling up onto the uh, deck there. Whoop. And I lost my speaker. <laughs> so anyway, there we go. That's the hardest part that it pulls is right here over the top. As I'm getting it on there, I have to adjust the wheels just a little bit. It also drags just a hair right here when it's on its way up. So you guys get the idea. I mean, this is pretty much a hands-free operation. I don't have to worry about it. And if you're standing way back here, it's harder to get hurt. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. And almost done. Oh, I know what I did. I left it in gear. Yeah, I left it in gear. Otherwise, it would have pulled easier. Whoops. If I would have put that in the middle, then it would have pulled better. Look. Ants. They always mess up everything. So anyway, I'm going to get this the rest of the way up there. But uh, if you guys wanted to know, that's how it's done. April, get over here. <laughs> So, well, I waited until I got this hooked up, but now I got it pulled forward. After I get it pulled forward, then I put my straps on, and then I put the side rails on, and then uh, it's all up there. But it rides nice right where it's at. All that begins, that gives me room on the other side for some gas cans in between it and the, and the uh, toolbox. All right, that's how I hook it up and get it up on there. Like I said, I'm still gonna put a couple of more braces and it's kinda just a couple more things that I wanna put on here to make it more functional and a little bit better than what it is right now. And, uh, so thanks for watching, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and we'll talk to you guys on the next video.